This weather is terrible. Cold and it's horrible. You ready now? Yeah. Did you film that last bit? Let's brighten your face up. Hi guys, welcome back. So as you've just seen, I've built a little folding shooting table. Now as the weather's turned, I don't really fancy laying on the deck all winter. It's only taken a few hours over a couple of evenings. I haven't used any mad tools, basically just a bandsaw and a drill is all you really need. The top's birch ply, the legs were from screw fix, they were under a fiver each. It's turned out pretty stout. It all folds up underneath of itself. It's a bit smaller than I probably would have liked, but I've put an upstand at the front here so the rifle can't slide forward. I'll probably need to put an upstand on this back edge here as well, but hopefully through the winter it will keep me up off of the deck. It will give us a more stable shooting platform and also then we can test out various bag riders and things like that off of here. It will almost certainly evolve as I use it more. I think I need to put a bit more reinforcement between the legs. I also need to find a better stall as well. I need something that's probably adjustable in height so I can get my back nice and straight for a comfortable shooting position. So we'll put the footage up now and I'll catch up with you at the end. It's about time that I got a shooting table built. Now the weather's turning, it's getting a lot damper out and I don't really fancy laying in the wet all winter. So time for a shooting table. This is a piece of 18 mil birch ply. This was remnants from when I did the bench and decked out bits in the workshop. It had a bit of a cut out on this corner already and I've just sort of shaped it in. So I shoot right handed, I'll be sitting here shooting this way and the rifle will sit here. Now this is only just over 35 inches long, which is a bit tight for the length of some of my rifles. So I will definitely need to put an upstand along this front edge here to stop the bipods or the rest or anything like that sliding off the front. I've got these mad, really old brass hinges. Now I'm going to use these to hinge the legs so that I can sort of make it semi-portable. I've got some Oroco hardwood offcuts here. I'm gonna make some sort of brackets or some bosses, if you like, for the legs. These will be the pieces that are hinged and the legs will be drilled and fixed through these. I went for metal legs in the end. I was going to use wooden ones, but the fact that I'm gonna use this primarily in the winter in the damp, the metal leg with a plastic adjustable foot on the end will certainly be easier to maintain. And these are actually just under five pounds each from Screwfix at the moment when I bought the three of them. So two legs at the front, a single one at the rear. I will also put on a little handle. Not quite sure where this is gonna go just yet. That will go on last when we work out what the balance point is when it's all together. I'll probably end up painting the top of this or maybe lining it with a softer material, something like that down the line. Let's get stuck in we'll get it done. We've only got a couple of hours to play with. There's no fancy join or anything like that. We're just gonna make it super stout. We've got no mad tools in here or anything. We've basically got the bandsaw, drill, and just readily available stuff. So nothing out of the ordinary.
Nice. Tidy them edges up a little bit. We'll probably just take off a little um, chamfer off the edges of those and then that leg's done. And then same, but twice as wide for the front. Right, well up until this point guys, this has been a bit of a fail with this single rear leg. When I ordered the legs, they only had three in stock. I thought, yeah, that'd be fine. Three legs, tripod, job's are good. And I physically can't keep this back end stable enough. So I've ordered another leg. I'm now gonna have to make up two legs, slightly inwardly spaced to sit in between these two. So I'm gonna get stuck in. I've got to go and pick up the leg later. Right, I'm just waiting on some pipe clips, 32 mil pipe clips. They're normally underground drainage clips or water pipe clips, should I say. So they clamp from 32 to 35 mil, but I've had to order those. I think for the moment, this is probably stout enough. We'll get this tested. I've put on the little upstand at the front. That's made out of plastic recycled um, stock board. All my feet are now adjustable. So it's gone from a tripod type to a four legged table. We'll get this up the farm. We'll see how rigid it is. And I'm sure that as I start using it, I want to make some modifications. I also want to put some magnets on the top face to hold my pellet tins and things like that. And I think with a lot of these things, I think it's going to evolve as I use it more. Nice. All right, let's go test it. Well guys, hopefully you can see that that turned out pretty good considering it was just made out of odds and ends and some cheapy legs from Screwfix. It's certainly gonna make my life a bit more comfortable through the winter when it's wet and horrible. I'm hoping in the next week or so that we get a fairly wind-free day because I've got some really mad pellets to test. We've got some ballistic tipped pellets. And I've also got some NATO ballistic gel, so that's gonna be pretty fun. So I think that'll do it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.